Greetings, Game Changers. This is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Rich, and we're looking at yet another one of my games on half a checkerboard. This is Turkish Toffle. This is a, the Toffle is a Northern European game. It involved uneven forces and trying to get the king to break through. This is a game that combines that with Chinese checkers. It combines it with Turkish checkers and also a little bit of Chinese checkers or Halma. Let me go over how the pieces move, and the object of this game here is either to trap the opponent's king if you're a black side, or the white side tries to get the king off the board. You're going to end up having this many checkers here, which is, what you see here, is 14 checkers on this side, and then you have the 7 checkers and the king that way. It's uneven forces, and... You see the king is there like that. So you can alternate turns moving back and forth. What it was is that we'll start with this side moving. These pieces move forward. Unpromoted men move forward like this here. Or that way forward as a basic slide move. One space. The king piece promoted or this piece also gets to move backwards. Jumping and capturing is done that way. Capturing is mandatory. It would be if I slid this up here, for example, I'd have to capture, just like in checkers. So you have that there. The slides are that way on both sides. You can also, as the side with the king, do a Chinese checker style jump to get pieces up. As far as I can see here, bear with me one second, I will check the rules as I don't believe the black side here. The defending side doesn't have that move. Doesn't have that move. And capture is done the same way, Chinese checker style, by jumping over. This king piece can also jump over opponent's pieces. This is a little bit of fox and geese, fox and hounds, whatever else that you have. You can do a jump that way and capture. The, this piece here, you have uneven forces because this piece here can't be captured by an opponent's piece at all. When a checker hits this side down here, the white side hits column 8. When a black side at column 1 it becomes a king piece, they're stacked together, and it gains the ability of uh, the movement and capture backwards and also jumping that the king piece here has. So you could, for example, instead of playing checkers, you want to play with the checker set plus, you could play like a stack of four checkers on that and make that the king piece that gets captured. So now how do you win the game? If this piece here manages to get down to there, wins the game. If it's trapped in, totally surrounded by an opponent's piece, you can win the game that way, or in the corner, or let's say this corner and these were two black pieces and this piece were here. Well, let's do there. Let's say it was down here and the black pieces were there. You could win. That way also, and or this here. There's balancing mechanisms because the sides are indifferent. They may want to do it, versions like the pie roll or something else, have players play both sides. So you have that there. In addition, one thing can do is this piece can also jump over. Let me sure I got that right. Hang on a second. Just bear with me. The king can leap over friendly pieces. That's one thing I had. So by having it set up, let's move everything back. The king could do this, for example, like that. Okay, can do that, the leap. Can't leap over a friendly piece here, for example. Let's say you had this, like this. Now, he could leap like that and land on the space there, but if he were here, he couldn't do a leap off the board to win the game. Now, if there were an opponent's single piece here, for example, he could leap over it. Oh, let me move it down. Sorry about that. He could then leap over the piece and do that and get off the board and win. But he just needs to hit the space here on the rare ability where he can do a jump capture and land. He can win the game that way also. So anyhow, 
you have the moving back and forth one piece at a time. The king's trying to navigate down here while the black side's trying to prevent it and trap the king in. The game will end when either the king hits that back row there or the other side prevents him from doing it. And the other side, the black side, doesn't have a legal move. It happens immediately too, by the way. If, let's say for some reason... Let's do the following. Because capture is mandatory. Let's say he leaps here like this. Captures that piece. He could then slide over and trap the enemy king in the place and win. It happens immediately. That'll be another thing too that happens. If you were to end up doing, for example... It's not going to work. I thought because you could jump into the space, but it just won't work that way. So anyhow, this is it. Check the link below in, in the description for the rules to the game. This is just a basic way to play the game. It's a fairly simple game here. I have variants in there. I have ways to handicap the side, favoring the defender side or the king side. And by the way, in the rules, I flipped the colors so that the king side, I believe, is black in it. So anyhow, okay, that's that's about it here. I figured I just want to get this rules up. we got a lot more games we'll begin to over the coming weeks. Eventually, I might run out of content, but we'll see. I'm, I'm up to the 20s for the Games and a Half Checkerboard series. There are some I'm not doing uh, because of the complexity involved and other things, but I'd look to get most of them up here. So, anyhow, that's it. I do want to thank you for watching. May your die, excuse me, I do want to thank you for watching. May your die always roll five. And remember, don't hate the player, change the game.